Okay, welcome back. Uh, and in this video about batteries for the um, Apprentice um, S15E airplane, uh, I'm going to talk about how to check the LiPo battery. That's a voltmeter. <laughs> that is not what you use to check the battery. Okay. It requires a special um, um, voltage checker called a LiPo checker, obviously. And I got several of them here. I want to make sure you understand what they are and how they work. Uh, this one's sold by um, uh, Horizon Hobby. It's the um, Dynamite brand of uh, Horizon Hobby. And so the Dynamite brand, uh, brand is on both sides. I like Brian brand names, and you'll see why in a minute. So the Dynamite brand has um, a pin here that's called pin one. You can see right there it says pin one uh, and, the, and the minus, okay? So that's the negative pin and you got pins one through six. So there's actually seven pins on the top of there, okay? So you got the, the negative side and six plus sides. So when you plug a, a battery in, like this brand new battery here, um, the negative pin near pin one goes in the black wire, okay, and it lights up and it tells you that the voltage is 11.7 with the first cell being 3.88, the second cell being 3.89, and the third cell being 3.89. So what that tells you is all three cells are within a tenth of a volt. That's good. Um, it also tells you that this is a brand new battery because 3.7 in that range, I'm sorry, uh, 11.7 in that range, anywhere 11 and a half kind of range, is what you call a storage charge. It's about half used. The nominal voltage of this battery is 11.1. .1. It says so right on the fr front. It says 3S 11.1. .1. So that's the halfway point of the voltage uh, of the battery. A battery voltage, a three, a, a, the three cells in it range from um, the uh, the nominal voltage at eleven point one. It'll vol the voltage will go up to as high as four point two volts per cell. So four point two volts per cell times three equals. Um, 12 6. On the bottom end, the nominal voltage of 3.7 per cell gives you 11.1 .1 times uh, 3.7 times 3 is 11.1. .1. The lowest voltage you ever want to get to is low, the absolute lowest is 3.3. .3. So 3.3 .3 times uh, 3 cells is 9.9. .9. Never get below that. If it gets below that, you probably ruin the battery. So it's important to check. Uh, the voltage of the battery itself, total, and each cell. And that's what these do nicely. So this is the other brand that Horizon Hobby sells. It's called E-Flight. Okay. It's exactly the same one. And the reason there's scotch tape on it is because I dropped it on the floor. And um, if you drop these little plastic things on the floor, they tend to break, especially the concrete floor I have in my shop here. And so you tape them back together and they still work. What I do like about both of these is, is that it has a nice cover. The pins are protected. If you put this in your pocket or in your tool box or bag or whatever, they, those pins won't get bent. Uh, one of my favorite um, LiPo checkers is from Integi. And um, they're about, mm, about $8, I guess. Um, but it's tiny, compact same number of pins, seven pins on it, and you do the same thing. Sometimes it's a little easier to hold it up like this, put, insert it like this, and then read the voltage, okay? And so it uh, does a very good job, uh, and Teggy um, uh, makes it, and um, um, the uh, The voltage checker, simple, easy, 
you could bend the pins if you're not careful but I like to have one as small as this it's easy just to throw in my um, stand over here when I'm out at the field and check the battery before I put it in the airplane when I take it out you can also find ones like this this is called the AOK -OK brand uh, I wish the AOK -OK is is a good brand in China um, they actually put their name on it AOK -OK. And so it does the same thing. You just uh, have to flip this over. The black wire goes on pin one at the bottom and it does the same thing, goes through it, okay? Um, okay. Um, there's another um, kind of battery. This is the AOK -okay brand. This is the AOK -okay brand because it says AOK -okay on the side um, and it says AOK -okay on the back. But this uh, LiPo checker has um, a horn on it, and you can use this to put it in your airplane while you're flying, and it will tell you uh, when the battery gets low, okay? So I'm going to take one of my used batteries here, and um, I'll check it uh, first with this one, okay? Make sure it's the right one. Nope, okay. Okay. That's, a, that's an old battery that's 12.1. I've got a different battery here that's um, lower on charge, okay? So uh, you can see that that's down to 11.1, okay? But some of the cells are below 3.7. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, so if a cell gets below 3.7, um, this checker has the ability to warn you with a horn and that voltage minimum voltage for the, where the horn starts can vary anywhere from uh, 2.7 to 3.8 and there's a little button here on the top so that when you plug it in uh, you set uh, the voltage minimum voltage for the horn to sound so I'm going to plug this in you'll hear the horn okay then it's going to find a cell that's below the 3.7 minimum and that uh, warning in the aircraft, you can hear it as it flies by and um, that's the way you'll hear uh, that the voltage is low. Okay, There are better ways to do this and I'll show you later um, how uh, telemetry works and uh, you, your radio, your receipt, your transmitter can actually get something from the uh, receive telemetry from the aircraft. Uh, that'll be in a much later video. Um, I'll also warn you that some of these look identical, but they're not the right brand. Uh, this one has no brand on it, okay? And when you plug it in, let's see, make sure we get it right here, okay? So pin one is where's pin one pin one is right there okay and uh, we'll see what happens so this says it's 10.9 with the first cell being 37 volts the second cell being 27 volts <laughs> okay and so this one's bad uh, i wrote, wrote, wrote bad on the back it thinks one of the cells is 27 volts okay and uh nowhere near right so you can find some bad ones out there. Uh, be careful. Um, if you get a bad one, take it back to the place you bought it. Um, but for $7, I'm not going to ship it back to the company I bought it from online. Um, so uh, those are voltage checkers. They're absolute necessity. You have to have at least one. I have one in the shop and a couple at the field and obviously some um, that I can put in my aircraft and some that I probably will throw away eventually. So voltage checking is extremely important. Um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.